hey thanks for checking out the video if you all like it please like and subscribe and uh hope you all enjoy it have a great rest of the day Okay. You want to start okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So it depends on how wide you want your blanket to be, right? Because the loom, they usually leave about 24 inches on the loom. Oh, lady coming down. So, uh, oh, lady coming down. You know, if you want a 72 inch, that's two yards. And if you want it twice as wide as 24 inches, like 48 inches, so that's four yards. So that's weaving four hours without interruption, plus all the setup, taking it off the loom, finishing it up, and washing it. So you have to wash it to make it soft? Or? Well, you never finish an item until it's washed. So because this yarn has not shrunk at all, you have to take it and bring it and shrink it because that helps tighten all the yarns together and gives it a good tight weave. So the finishing process is the washing and the pressing. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty cool. Might have to cut some more to you, boy. Yeah, yeah. It takes about about two to three days to set up a loom. Two to three days to set one up. Ooh. To set one up, yeah. And then you can start, then you can start reading. Because this right here, I've got about 400 threads going across this way. I have to, and the, I probably have, uh, I probably have 10 yards, 10 or 11 yards on here. So I have to wrap it up. I have to wrap 400 threads, 11 yards, take them off, then come back here, tension them onto this back beam, once in a while on the back beam, then I've got a thread, 400 threads through these petals. Then I've got a thread, 400 threads through the weed. Oh my god. Then I have to bring it onto the front, tighten it, tension it down. Now I'm ready to weave. How long does that take? I generally, I generally allow two to three days to set up a loom. Wow. Now, and maybe. You mind not, if I touch it? No, oh, go ahead. Oh, this is cotton. This, this is cotton. So this is the unfinished. You see, it's a little bit looser. When you finish it, if you look at, uh, say that right there, that's a finished. Yeah, that's finished. Mm -hmm. And see, it's got a tighter weave. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And because cotton shrinks about 15 percent. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. um, uh, particularly off the loom, because you've got the inner inner leavings yeah. that works. So it it shrinks that way plus the yarn itself shrinks. Oh yeah. So. I, it depends on how tight I have this. Sometimes I can get shrinkage up to 20% in the length. Mm -hmm. Generally only maybe 10% in the width, but about up to 20% in the length. Mm -hmm. So that helps bring it and gives you a tight weave. So you have to, using it just like this, it's, it could fall apart easier. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that you definitely want to wash it and finish it yeah. before you use and, it. And finish it. Yes, finishing it is taking it off the loom, mm -hmm. hemming it, washing it, and then what they call pressing it, whether you use an iron or they had a mangle board back then. A mangle board, I didn't bring my mangle board That's with okay. me. But it's basically, it's a, it's a board and a uh -huh. roller. You wrap the, the fabric around the roller when it's damp. And you take this board and you just roll it back and forth. Because what you want to try to do is just sort of flatten the fibers. Okay. But also finish them, and it puts a set to the fabric. Mm -hmm. It's like, so once it's set, if you finish it with a bunch of wrinkles in it, the wrinkles will always stay. Mm -hmm. But if you finish it the first time after it's washed and dried and everything nice and smooth, mm -hmm. it has a tendency to stay, you can get it to stay that way if you continue to, you know, use it. Mm -hmm. So it, it, sets, it sort of sets everything in place. Mm -hmm. Now is this the original one? The one behind you is the original. That's the original. Yeah. How old is this one? This one's probably not too much older. It, it could be 50 to 100 years older. Oh my gosh. So this is, could be, and I don't know, I don't know the provenance of this one. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you look at it, it's very similar to that one. It's mm -hmm. got the similar type of uh, seat to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but they, you know, they made this style, uh, you know, for years. Mm -hmm. So it could be uh, 1770, anywhere. But I'm thinking this is probably mid 1800s oh my gosh yeah wow this so is this, awesome yeah wow yeah.